Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're going to be finishing Little Nightmares Part 2. Is it Part 2 or am I thinking of The Last of Us? It's it's the second one. So today's episode is one that is highly anticipated, I'm sure, because a lot of people have waited for this series to continue and I've been so bad about putting out episodes. I'm very sorry I made you guys wait so long. Also, it's been a while since I recorded and I changed up my hair. My hair's a little darker now. I don't know if you can even tell, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think it looks good. I think I look good today. Anyways, I'm very scared to continue this game because like I keep saying, we're right at the end. I honestly don't know how much is left. It's probably going to be a really short episode, but either way, I just, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm very nervous. I hope Mono doesn't die uh, because I don't know if he's in the first game or not. I, I obviously know that Six is going to survive, uh, but I, I don't know how. Let me stop talking and get into the recap of what happened in the last episode. Last episode was definitely shorter than the rest, I think. I haven't finished editing it yet, but I remember it not being as long as some previous ones like the hospital. Hospital took me so long. Since we're out of the hospital, the school, all that, we basically had to explore the whole city at this point. So Mono and Six were getting close to, I don't even know if they really had a goal in mind, but on their way through the city, we ran into another television set. And I did mention how I thought it was interesting that Mono is definitely related to these TVs. Like he has some sort of ability with them. We saw him sort of eject out of one at the beginning of the game. And he has those segments where he hit my mic, <laughs> where he almost controls the TV with his hand and like filters through the frequency and stuff. And there was a reoccurring thing of him almost going into the TV and going down this long stretch of hallway where there's the door with the eye symbol on it and progressively getting closer to that door as you have these, you know, sequences. And every time Six would almost pull him out of there, it seemed like. So in my opinion, it seemed like she knew sort of what was behind that door. And it would turn out that she was probably right to keep him away because as soon as we reached that door, it opened and revealed this tall dude who looked like Slenderman, but it's not actually Slenderman because he has a face. This tall guy walked straight through the TV and has now started chasing them. And he's incredibly terrifying. I don't know what he is exactly. It's very odd. Um, he's almost like this. I don't I don't even know how to describe it. He can phase through walls. He can teleport. He can disintegrate people. <laughs> Unfortunately, as we were running away, Six did get captured by this guy and he just sort of sucked her up and left behind this shadow of, you know, of Six. And that obviously is what we've been seeing throughout this game so far. All those shadow people that we keep collecting have been his victims, it seems like. So it was really sad to be separated from her again, and she kept trying to get in contact with Mono as we were going through the city, and she ended up showing up on a TV at one point, and we tried to pull her out, but the thin man pulled her back in, and then he came out of the TV. But during all these altercations, we discovered that Mono has the ability to, like I said, teleport to these TVs. But I just loved this part because it was so cool how they did the, the teleportation. Like you carried around this remote and you can teleport from one TV to the next. And it just made all the puzzles very interesting, almost like a portal-esque, I don't know, element to it. But obviously very, very different from portal and more terrifying as well. When it came to enemies, besides the thin man, we were encountering these city people that had been transformed into these distorted faceless creatures like that were drawn to the TVs. I think I made a comment that I like assumed it meant to represent like how people are consume this propaganda mindlessly or these you know social media things mindlessly. I wonder if it's sort of representing that or maybe I'm looking into it. Big brain moment. But either way these dudes were not fun to be around, they were terrifying, um, but definitely not the scariest part of the game. I would say, I think the scariest part was definitely the hospital. The other key thing was there was a very tall building, almost like in the center of the city that was broadcasting this signal. And it seems like that is what was driving people insane, kind of. There were these people on top of the building and they just, you know, killed themselves as this frequency was going on. Like they are just, all 
mindless creatures at this point. It makes me wonder if the city was actually like filled with normal people at one point. I assume so, but it just begs the question like what happened? It's so interesting. I love the storytelling in this game and the environment and just everything. So good. But eventually we were cornered by this thin guy and Mono revealed another power, which was interesting that he could almost mirror this guy's powers by forcing him back with like this force field thing. I don't know, it was confusing. Either way, such a cool scene, absolutely loved it. Not only that, but once we defeated that guy, Mono almost time warped into another area of the city. Like this kid has so many powers that I'm just not entirely sure on but I love it. I think it's very, very cool. So now we're left in front of this giant door and I assume the last boss is going to be in there. I'm terrified. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with six. I just, I'm scared. So let's not waste more time and let's get into this game and see what happens next. Okay, we're back. Um, apparently it loaded me off here even though I definitely didn't stop here. So let's warp, I guess. Forgot how cool this game is. I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm really nervous. I don't know how much is left. Like, I don't know what's in here, but I guess we'll find out, guys. <laughs> Say a quick prayer for you, girl. Okay. I don't know if I remember all the controls. It's fine. <clears throat> Who's controlling all this? Like, paled. Oh, well, maybe I should have stopped it. <laughs> Not there. It's fine. It's fine. Whenever I start up the game, I always... Oh, boy. Oh boy, is this a vision? Like, he doesn't have his, <laughs> he doesn't have his paper bag anymore. That's right, I forgot. Oh, it's opened. This is Six's theme, right? What is happening? What is happening? There's another eye up there. Illuminati. <laughs> like, is this all a, a nightmare? Is that what the twist is gonna be? Hey, wait, 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 hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Six. Oh shit. Okay, we're warping. I have a feeling this last boss is. Is, it's gonna be hard. Six. Come on, six. I know, I know it's it's you. Wait, what? Okay, let's go back. Where do we go? I'm confused. Wait a minute. <laughs> Am I already stumped? I just started. Oh god. Okay, we warp out here. Do I have to follow the music? It's gotta be through this one, but like... Okay, okay, you just go towards the music, I guess. Music's not through there. What the hell's going on? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Getting louder. I 
think it's this one. Come on. Oh, my... F Wait a minute. Eh. Can we open this? But not go through? Ah! No! Come on. See, look at- look at me over there. Okay. Now we can go this way, right? Okay, listen, I'm smart. I'm s wait, what? <laughs> Shit. Crap. Did I screw it up? Well, look at that. This is absolutely insane. I don't know what to think. Okay, not do that one. Okay. Did I mess it up by shutting the door? Or do I have to just keep doing this? Okay. Six. Is she the mastermind behind this all? I feel like th that's what it's gonna end up being. Cause she makes it to the- she makes it out of here, obviously. So like... You know? But why would he have let her go? I mean, we did kill him. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Wait, what? Oh, we have to- we have to- okay. Okay, we have to do this. <laughs> Oopsies. Thought that was a beam. Okay, where's the singing coming from? Uh... But I just don't know if Mono is in this- is in, like, the DLC at all, you know? So I- I don't know if he's gonna die and I'm upset. Where- oh. Okay, okay. I think I just kind of restarted it. Because I messed up the pattern, okay. It's like Simon says, kind of. Kind of. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Is this the last? I absolutely love the main theme, though. It's so good. Ah. Okay, what? What? <laughs> okay, um... Um... What is happening? Okay, bye! <laughs> bye! Six? I don't know what to do. How did this happen? What is going on? Okay. Why do you look like that? To call? No, I don't want to. Is she gonna try to kill me? I don't know if I wanna call her over here. I am so scared. Oh no. There's a hammer over there. I'm not gonna... I don't... <gasps> oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, what happened? What happened? Is that really her? What? I don't want to have to fight her, like, 
but look at her hands. She's like the long arm dude in the first one. Oh god. Oh, I can't- I can't, like, smash her hand or anything. Oh! Okay, <laughs> okay. She's, like, hypnotized by it. She was at the beginning, too. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna go. But, like... Oh god. Oh god! Okay, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Ah! Why? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Six! What is happening to you? Ah! <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? I'm just gonna go. Why? Like, I'm just more confused than anything. I just... I am so... I'm so scared! Shit! Ew, she's all deformed and stuff. Bro, what is going on? What? How did this happen? Was she like that this whole time? Like, why... Is it because I... Like, left her? Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. No. Bro! Ah! Oh god! Oh my god! No! No! I don't like this at all! What is wrong with her? Ah! Oh god! How do I get- Okay, let's just see what she does. Do I have to just wait it out? Because I see that door is like... Slightly open. I'm still... Speechless right now. Okay, okay, I think I- yeah, I did have to wait it out. Ah! <laughs> what? What even? What the hell happened? What the hell happened to her? This is absolutely insane. Oh shit. Okay, you're really protective of that music box there, Six. Okay. So we can definitely use these doors as a as a way to lure her and like teleport. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so only the calling disrupts it? <sighs> so, I can't get near her? <sighs> oh god. I do. Oh shit! God, this is 
is so terrifying. I didn't want to have to fight her. I mean, I kind of figured she was evil, but like... That? Oh. oh god, okay, okay, so don't do that. Don't do that. What if I just keep going back and forth here? Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, it's so heartbreaking that that's, you know, what is used against her. Like, that thing that we've been using back and forth, like this... The call button, like... Oh my god. Oh god, no, no! Jesus. I think I just had to hit it once, right? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is so weird. I don't know what to do. Uh... Ah, shit. I was so close. Okay, I think that's what I had to do. I think picking it up and grabbing it is sort of slowing me down. Okay. Oh god, okay, she didn't go all the way over. Oh shit! <laughs> I think she shot me through the other side. Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, her leg and- oh god. Oh! Oh, okay. That did not go over well. Let's just keep trying this method, though. Ah, shit! I was so close! Okay, okay. Ugh. Yes! Whew! Okay. We did it. We did it. Oh. Can she be normal now? Like... Oh god, what's gonna happen? Oh god. I'm scared. Hey! Oh, what we had to do in the beginning of the game. When we broke her out of that, I wonder, like... What could this all mean? I am so... Oh shit, not again, no! Oh, Is this like inside of her mind or something? Like... Woo! Okay! <laughs> alright, alright, okay. We can only go through on that side. Whoa, is she angry? Ladies and gentlemen, she is angry. Ah. 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 Whoa, oh God. Ah! No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, the stress right now. You guys have no idea, I'm so stressed, like my heart is racing. Jesus. I... I am speechless with this game, man. Whoa. How come he's... Okay. 
Who's like holding it continually? Oh god! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm pretty sure as soon as you yell, you can just keep walking through. Like, she won't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, I kinda messed that one up. Whoa, 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 okay, I have to wait till she's all the way over there or something. Okay. Yes! Yes! Ooh! <laughs> oh my god, my heart! My heart, my heart! Poor Mono. Six was like his only friend. Like, why did she turn against us? I don't understand. Is she just inherently evil? Like, or is she possessed by something? I. Uh... I hear it. Oh. The door still looks the same, though. Should we not have broken her out of that house, you know? Like... Oh, Jesus. Okay, it is different. I was like, is this the exact same? Oh, this is not... Can she still reach through that? How do I do this part? Jeez! Yeah, that's like... Wow. That's like, wow. Maybe this one over here is a little... <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was doing pretty well, but it's it's very confusing. Oh, you know what? I need to grab it and run into another. I don't need to... Okay. I just need to grab it and run. Oh god. I'm stuck. Yeah. Woo. Oh god, she knows where I am. Yeah. Shit. I can handle anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What is so important about that thing? God, Ma Mono's such a badass though. I love Mono. Oh, 
She's all weak now. What's inside of it? Like, her powers, maybe? She's shrinking. I think. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Six. She's all tiny now. Are you still evil? I don't trust you. I don't trust her at all. Not after everything that's happened. Oh, now we're backed up. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> she she didn't even try to help him though. Like What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> this whole section is just a mind fuck, bro. Oh my god. She's just every man for himself, like she really is. Okay, well. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she she's too far gone, I think. Like I had no clue what was gonna happen this section, and I am not disappointed, because it is absolutely insane and I love it so much. Gee, what the fuck? Like, what is happening? I keep doing what she's doing. She ran over that way and so did I. Oh god, it's Mono! God dang it. Whoa, cave. What? Okay, I have to stay on that piece. This is really hard. <laughs> we all know I suck at platforming. What is that, though? Okay, no, I don't have to stay on that piece. This is what... This is why we keep seeing eyes everywhere, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Thanks, Six. Oh my god. Six? Oh, I don't want Mono to die! Oh, no! I don't think she's gonna save him. She's not gonna pull him up. Bro. <laughs> I am so upset. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. Oh, we not dead? We're not dead! Right? Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? Where are we? Okay. Okay, but we're not dead for sure yet, though. I almost cried. Like, I, I legitimately almost teared up. I just... I am just so absolutely confused right now. What are... We must be inside of something, right?
Wow. Wow. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, this is not what I think it is. No fucking way. Is he the thin man? Wait, 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 wait. I'm like gonna tear my hair out. That explains so much, except it doesn't, but it does at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. My mind is absolutely blown right now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did not expect that at all. No. No fucking way. No, absolutely not. I... I think I'm gonna leave this in, me just sitting here like this, because this is legitimately me trying to process what the hell I just saw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I can honestly say did not expect that ending at all. I'm so happy I didn't have it spoiled. I think I ended up I did end up seeing pictures of Six as that big creature, but I had no idea like what the context was, what anything was. Absolutely had no idea about Mono being the tall guy, but it makes so much more sense now. I mean kind of, but like but I like <laughs> mind is so completely shattered right now I I really did not see that twist coming with Mono being the, the tall guy did not at all but as soon as he sat down in that chair and like the lighting too I was like no absolutely not that cannot be what that means but the mad lads did it they went there they went there and they 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 really pulled a fast one on me because oh my god like the fact okay it makes you wonder if six is legitimately evil or like i guess she is but also is she stuck in this time loop because it almost feels like she knew 
this was going to happen. And that's why she like let Mono go is because she was trying to kill him and maybe end this cycle that she was trapped in. Like maybe, maybe the music box was protecting her from this guy from Mono, I guess. Like they're the same. I, I shouldn't even make any, any guesses right now. Cause I'm just like, oh my God, I, I'm just honestly absolutely blown away by this game. Like I'm seriously just sitting here in shock, like that ending really, really threw me a lot. But the fact that Mono and the tall guy, so himself, but older, were like fighting against each other. And it, I even said in the intro, like it seemed like he was mirroring his moves, but it never even occurred to me that that could be him. And it is. And it makes a lot more sense that he was able to like do that and fight him and almost kind of mirror his exact movements and stuff. And like, I just, I I need to sit and think about this ending or something, cause my God. I really like, a lot of people were like, you're gonna be, you're gonna be freaked out by the end. It's gonna be a lot. And so when I got to hear it with Six being evil, I was kind of like, well, we already kind of knew that she was. I mean, her giant disformed creature, like body was definitely freaky, but it, I don't know, just th that ending specifically with Mono, like thinking he died and like me almost tearing up because I, I don't know, I just, I get attached to these little guys and I didn't want him to die. And just the fact that like we have been doing that same thing throughout the game where I jump and she'd catch me and always pull me up. And that time she just, I knew, I, I knew that she was just going to let go because first of all, I still think Six is evil to a degree. I mean, we kind of saw that. But like, is Mono evil? Because it seems like he was, but maybe he was trying to get payback for what she did to him later that hadn't even happened yet. I am, my mind is absolutely blown. There are so many different theories you can make with this game. Just like, the first one I'm thinking of is, is maybe this is stuck in a time loop. Maybe she's trying to break it because she's been through it over and over again. So has this all happened before? Is is Mono but older, like trying to get revenge on Six for letting him die, and like he basically sat there for like an eternity. First of all, where do you get the clothes from? <laughs> That's my question. Where do you get that cool hat? You know. But also, but also, like, what in the world? I'm gonna have to look up theories and stuff but my guess to why she betrayed mono and why she left him to die or try to kill him i guess was because she she had been captured by him and like i i i your guess is as good as mine i seriously like my head hurts my head hurts so bad what all i can say is just man i have so many thoughts but i i will get into like my my thoughts and feelings about the game itself like the, the gameplay and all that soon um but just me right now as like a, a player who just who just experienced that i am just 100 percent speechless wow i'm gonna wait till we're after these credits i think Okay, I think these credits are gonna go on forever, so <laughs> they're going through like every country. Um, anyway, so I I just had to say I absolutely loved this game so much. I don't know which one I liked more, Little Nightmares 1 or 2. I think probably this one, but both of them are just absolutely amazing games and they really like it's hard to compare them because i just enjoyed both of them so much that it's hard for me to like rank them i guess i think this one was definitely more frustrating at times i definitely had frustrating moments in the first game but not nearly as bad as this one um this one was just like the kids which the song is like for the kids too um the kids especially at the school like oh my god you guys have no idea how frustrated it was and um, 
the hospital, the mannequins at the hospital, the flashlight. I just really was horrible at, at maneuvering the flashlight. Um, that both of those sections were just incredibly difficult and very, very, very hard. Um, so I don't remember as many moments like that in the first game, but when it comes to overall quality, like both games just blew me away. Okay, nothing seems to have really changed here. Um, yeah, when it comes to overall thoughts about this game, um, I absolutely loved it. Like, I just, you really, it's hard not to enjoy this game. I feel like everyone who plays it just has the same experience where they just love it. They love it for the, the atmosphere is something I keep saying over and over, but like the sound design in this game, I don't normally mention and I feel kind of bad because it is just so immersive and the um the graphics too especially so good like all the details in the world just really brought it to life in such an eerie way and it felt like these places had been lived in before but just all went to chaos essentially now i did heard there is one section that i missed in like the hospital episode that i did and that is when i brought in a hammer um to like kill one of the kids or whatever and if I hadn't brought in that hammer Six would have killed them herself that's what I've heard I don't know if it's 100% true I haven't seen it I didn't want to look it up that that is something that I miss I feel kind of bad about allegedly I don't know if it's a real scene or not but um I feel like that really shows that she is is evil I mean not that the last chapter didn't show that obviously but part of me is giving her the benefit of the doubt sometimes as far as like what if she is stuck in this loop where she felt the only way to break it was to kill Mono, thinking that she would kill like the, the tall guy that captured her and maybe he did that to her or maybe he, Mono is just getting revenge on what she did to him and it's just like this loop. And I just, I, I have so many thoughts. I'm gonna have to watch a video on it or something to get like some answers, but I feel like it won't be answered because this is Little Nightmares and Basically nothing is answered in this series. It's the first one left me with just as many questions, but this one was definitely more like what the hell just happened sort of ending, which was I loved. I loved that. I love when games can shock me like that and really throw me for a loop that I just was not expecting. Very satisfying when a game can do that well, and this one did it very, very well. Okay guys, so after talking it over with a friend and kind of discussing what happened at the end, we were both sort of laying out our theories and stuff, and he brought up the fact that in the first game, when you're on the boat as Six, there's a tall, thin man who hanged himself, and all you see is his legs standing up. But the chair below him is the same chair that Mono sits on, and there's like a, a letter at his feet or something like that, and it's like so upsetting because I, I just feel like Mono felt like there was absolutely no way out of it and he'd just been there for so long and it's just, oh my god, it's so, it's so upsetting. So it really does seem like that was, that is Mono in the first game and that's how his story ends and I, I obviously haven't confirmed this yet by like looking it up or anything, but that is just really, really upsetting to me. The fact that like, you know, I feel like Mono as an adult, the old, the tall, thin man, <laughs> basically, was trying to save him the whole time. I feel like as Mono, you were almost unlocking that part of yourself that that was trying to save him. And all, all you did was run away from him because like, I, I don't know if you really would have died if Mono captured him. And it was just, it's just so, there's so many layers to this and it's just, wow. I just really wanted to put that in there because, you know, I haven't looked up any, any videos on it or anything, but like, that is definitely something to consider, is that that is mono. Yeah, okay, back to the video. But yeah, as far as the gameplay goes, like the enemies, I felt, I don't know if they were scarier than the ones in the first game. I'm trying to think like, the teacher definitely, definitely did not like her. Um, guy in the hospital, the doctor, definitely didn't think he was as scary. Um, Six, Six was more like shocking than anything, I guess, but she, I don't, she was definitely hard, but I think I, I, 
I did hers pretty fast, at least faster than probably the rest of this game. <laughs> but um, it was just one of those things where I had to figure out which door to go through and, and then I was pretty much good. Um, but like, I don't know. They're all kind of on the same level, I guess, as far as like scariness. But um, I thought the controls in this one were a lot better, a lot more refined, because in the first game you had a lot more like fall deaths, whereas this one, it, it was kind of reduced a lot of the time, which I appreciated. And a lot of it was user error, but I also feel like it, it is really challenging sometimes to figure out where your like sledgehammer is going to land or where your axe is going to land, because that was really screwing me up with her, uh, with Six's boss fight, is because I didn't know where to like let it go, because I thought it was right next to it, but I wasn't. Um, I just... I really am missing my phrases for this game, but I can't- I'm trying to think of things that I didn't really like. I guess the only thing would be like how frustrated I got at some points. I think that was kind of just down to me, like not really knowing what I was doing. I think, yeah, this game was definitely more challenging, definitely. But I, I really enjoyed the puzzles. I thought they were all super creative and especially towards the end where you were teleporting through the TVs and stuff. It just added a lot more depth to the map and like what you could do to lure enemies. It's just all of it is so creative. I just really admire how different they can make each scenario and it, it didn't feel repetitive at all. Like I feel like it's so easy to make a game like this feel repetitive, but they really don't like it's just it's just so good. But yeah, as far as theories go, I I really don't have that many as bad as that sounds like I'm trying to think what it all means, but I think that's almost one of the coolest parts about this game is that it can mean anything. And I don't think there's really a definitive answer that the devs were aiming for. I mean, maybe I'm going to look up some videos right after this, like, and see what just happened. But, um, yeah, I, I feel like it could mean a lot of different things. Like I was mentioning, like, has this all happened before and that's why Mono was trying to chase after Six and get revenge on like her trying to kill him and success almost successfully killed him. But also, why did Mono not teleport out of that room sooner if he could teleport? And where did he get the clothes from? <laughs> and did he just like sit there because he just felt like there was no hope? It's just absolutely insane that you were literally running away from yourself. This game, though, <laughs> this game absolutely destroyed my brain. I just, I loved it, though. I loved it so much. I'd be so willing to talk about it in the comments if you guys want to discuss your theories. I'm sure you have much more intense theories than I do as far as, like, what happened and what everything meant. And just, like, the fact that Mono start you start off the game with Mono coming out of a TV. I feel like that kind of means something like, is there different timelines? It's just, yeah, no, too much for my brain to handle right now. Wow. But yeah, I, I really want to know what you guys think about this game in the comments. Please let me know what your theories are. I'm, I want to discuss it with you guys down below and just see what it could all mean. Like, I'm sure once I post this, I'll watch some things and kind of try to figure it out myself and, and maybe look through some old footage and stuff. But for now, it's just blowing my mind, <laughs> and that's about it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this series and enjoying it. I had such a good time. I'm so happy I played it. I'm sorry it took me so long, though, but we did it, and I am very glad that I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like or subscribe if you're new, because I'd love to have you stick around and watch the play some video games. I will see you guys in the next episode. Or the next video, actually. New series. New series to look forward to. Anyway. <laughs> Goodbye.